And the first of our change makers is an activist. She'll be on the panel in the session tomorrow with her perspective on energising kids to take part in what has become a new wave in political engagement. She's deeply involved with the UK Student Climate Network and currently coordinates their school's outreach and the Green New Deal campaign across the country, while working to organise monthly school strikes, both here and internationally. In February, she led the London Climate Strike March. She's already in demand for radio and TV news comment on the school strikes movement, and now she's here to ask us where we stand in this new wave of commitment from the young people we serve. Please welcome changemaker Nuga levy Rappenport. Hi. My name's Noga levy Rappenport, and I'm 17 years old. I'm the co-founder of a youth theatre company, a big sister to two clever kids, and a student who's always been interested in politics, in feminism, in human rights, and how youth leadership has the power to change everything. On February 15th, I turned London's first school strike for climate into a disruptive, rebellious march. And since then, I've narrowed my focus onto climate activism, working with the UK Student Climate Network, a horizontal volunteer-based group, to organise nationwide strikes and coordinate the new youth climate justice movement on an international scale. I've spoken in Parliament in May Day protests, in front of roadblocks and strikes, at UN organisations and across Europe, been covered by numerous press and media channels, and now I'm here in front of you. And I'm here because there is a message from the global youth strike for climate movement that every young person should know, and it's what needs to be ingrained in young minds from the very beginning that they should never have to ask permission or defer to others in order to make a change and act on what they feel is right. It's something I think about every day, because it's a belief that the actions and futures of children rely on, particularly when we are faced with a dire ecological emergency. There has never been a time where it is more imperative that children around the world realise their own strength and take action for their planet. And that's where you come in. Currently, over 150 countries are registered for monthly or weekly strikes around the world. And whilst we are a generation actively seeking to break down stereotypes, the archetype of the digital generation is one we neither want to nor can shake free. We have grown from one teenager to millions of children within the space of a year through a new kind of grassroots organising that redefines what it means to spread the word and make ourselves heard with the role of social media and on-screen content playing an instrumental part in this. For the first time, young people, kids, have access to a world of information and encouragement, of action and ideas. But for too long, the climate crisis has been treated in the same frame as other political or even ideological current affairs and discussions, both on and off screen. It's time for the media to begin treating this emergency with the severity it deserves, prioritising imminent climate breakdown, working in what the future will look like into the content that you produce. The climate crisis is not an issue that demands political balance. It's an issue that demands action and education, and you cannot ignore the global call for children to become the leaders of today. Yet that is exactly what you have been doing. By playing a delicate game of fragile political tightrope, you neglect the, ch the tools for children's empowerment that are nestled in your hands. I'm standing in front of people who affect children's views via books, magazines, games, online cartoons, kids' newspapers or newsround, in dramas, in factual programmes and documentaries, in comedies, in theatre shows. So where are you in this movement? What have you been doing to avert this crisis? The youth have shown a radical consciousness and international solidarity, striking to make our voices heard, striking to remind those in power that we are worthy of a future, a world, a planet on which we can not only survive, but live and breathe and work. We have been demanding for months that children's media push aside the strict political balance and restrictive guidelines you placed upon yourselves, trying to balance the right and the left, the old and the new, you can't balance what you feed an entire generation when all that generation wants the media to show them is what's really happening and what we can do. 
The rules of our society are being rewritten. But to rewrite the rules, you must first tear them down. Will I find a headline every single day about us? Will five-year-olds tormented by eco-anxiety know that they are not alone? Will children and toddlers and teenagers and adults together realize that they are the backbone of this global movement? Will you tell them there is so much more that they can do? Show them a future torn apart by the climate crisis in TV dramas, in animations, in 60 second Instagram clips, in YouTube cartoons. Show them a future saved and rebuilt by a green, socially equitable economy. Show them and encourage them and strengthen them because there is no greater or more relevant use of children's media than the action and empowerment of those watching and waiting to learn. So forget your policies, forget your rules and regulations, because we're tearing those to the ground. So follow us. Use what you have to tell the children of the world about what we're doing and why. Tell them what they're facing and what they can do. Tell them to stand up and to rise against injustice. Tell them to strike and to teach them about the failures we have faced and the successes to come. Show them a world that they have to understand by using the language that they understand. Teach the future because we are the future and stand with us as we demand action. The media is an undeniably integral part of children's lives. So show them our lives too. Invite youth strikers to present your programs, to take part in shows, to front your content and advise you on where to go. Engage with us and millions of children around the world will engage with the world around them. Youth strikers across the globe have shown the power of collective action. And now it's time to join this by using what you have, by doing what you do as children's content creators to prove that your words are not those of false leaders in parliament, but that here promises have meaning. The headlines and programs and trailers, they're waiting for you to make them, not the other way around. Your children are waiting. We're waiting for you to catch up. Thank you.